everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video there's a couple of different things going on we will be mulching the final job with the uh, major cyclone mulcher we're going to be mulching our orchard getting it back under control as it is completely messed with weeds we will also berta has been brought in for farrowing so we're going to be checking out how she gets on how many pigs she's going to have because she's a massive pig compared to betty was and we're also going to be getting our goats put on to flock watch so this video is sponsored by herdwatch herdwatch sponsor nearly all our cattle videos herdwatch have the app there for recording everything to do with your livestock they now have flock watch as well which we're going to be taking a little dive into by adding our goats to it so that we have them all on it and then Liv can keep a record of everything that goes on with the goats yes check out herdwatch if you want link is in the description down below hello everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video we are in the orchard and we're going to be topping and tidying this up as you can see huge crop of dirt and because this video probably isn't long enough in its own we'll probably have something else put with it so we're in the castle this is where we plowed in our orchard with our ferguson tvo 20 and our ferguson plow this is why we got an eight foot topper because we want to get down these rows of trees and now that i'm looking at it i am thinking 10 foot probably could have been doable well i see how it goes i was just having a look i was checking that everyone was standing you know with no wire left anywhere because last year we had the pigs operating in paddocks up and down here but when we got bruce then he made a disaster of it and we lost trees to him uprooting them so we couldn't keep them but we have our cherry tree has cherries there's one there there's another cherry tree with two on it now there's no wild pile of cherries but there's cherries on the tree which is amazing it's the first year we've had cherries the trees on the inside i think are plums and green gauges there's nothing on them we have apple trees then from there onward and below these i don't know what these two are there seem to be the only two with that kind of a leaf maybe the top ones yeah things got a bit away on us everything kind of went wrong on us when we got the trees first we had them all piled up and dug into the ground waiting to get this job done and what happened the bullocks got out of the shed they got through one gate two gate three gate four gates met it out here however they didn't go off all over the yard but they just met it out here and they took all the labels off all the trees we had damaged a good few trees before we even planted them so we always had this like oh what is where so definitely there are cherries anyway it's just cherries on them the ones the other side i'm pretty sure we put in our plums and green gauges that side supposed to be in the center rows then is apples there's supposed to be 10 cider apple trees in it and then the rest is just various everything from your branleys your grammy smiths your john o'groats to all sorts of different varieties cox pippins any of the old names that father phil and uncle ian could remember as my grandfather used to have the whole not just this corner but the whole of the castle used to be trees i just remember two trees left out in it but they died and what actually happened to all the trees that were out here father phil kept sheep out here one time uh for sponging or something and they ate the bark off the trees and it just absolutely wiped them out but there's pear trees here too now, i don't think we have any pears there's apples and then there's them few cherries but that's it there's pear trees out here too we got uh, literally a bit of everything we have had a few casualties tree wise um partly goats partly pigs this tree here is a bit baffling me now lovely come up with leaves seems to have died now whether it got something or not i'm not sure um same with the next tree in the line but the next couple of trees are fine it's going to be a lot easier when we go here when we've a top so maybe we'll go through it the only one thing the biggest thing we have to watch out for we're on top of this and we're, we have everything cleared out and we cleared everything out of it in the spring so it's pretty safe but we were just warned about it our beehives are just in there we were told to be very mindful because the noise of the topper could scare them so we have to keep a close eye on them as we go and if we do see too much activity we have to pull the pin two beehives there we took the first harvesting off them last weekend weekend before so jars of honey in the shop uh, I've walked through Everton. Everton seems fine. I didn't. I was waiting for you. It's the first cherries. They're like hiding. It must be the only reason we have them is because they're hiding. There's one in under here. 
I'd say that one is ripe. That, that one feels soft. That one is, I'd say, is ripe. Bright bitter as fuck. No, lovely. Is it? Mmm. Mmm. There's Roy coming out, so we'll see what this looks like. But as you can tell, it should be some transformation. We're trying to navigate her way, not the easiest thing with the big tractor. We did kind of leave the orchard at the 35 again, round and handy, but topper's a bit big for the 35. We're going to see how this goes now. Just a pity this tractor doesn't have the low box. I know backing down and driving up probably isn't the best idea, but it's a start. difference from that. So I think we'll put some time left now and uh, we'll see how the rest of this goes. We are done. The Major Cyclone Mulcher has mulched the absolute be jesus out of the place. And now we're gonna walk up and down. Absolutely no bother. So the bees, we left a bit of a buffer zone around the bees. Uh, Liv said bees were grand. So that we'll just go in there with the strimmer. And what we'll do is we'll get the strimmer and we'll go in between all the trees just to tidy them up. But a little bit tight now, especially here between the shed. The rose was tight now. But I would say we'd easily get a 10 foot topper up and down. And that's what I want to see. Because the 10 foot would mean when we go out to do topping, it would be better. But look at the job, like you couldn't ask for better. Very, very impressed with it. So much so, well, wait to see if Father Phil sees this, but we've already been talking. There's a Tams Grand on this for next year. And we may look into getting a 10 foot one. 10 foot, you're just that bit two foot wider. Um, 3075 now be the right tractor for the job, but she's on the rake. Bro is raking today. But um, yeah, just look, it's, it speaks for itself. The level of dirt that's in that, and now it's gone, we can get up and down it. Well chuffed with that. Rory's gonna wash this up now because that's us finished with the major cyclone. All is topped, all is done. But I have to say, it speaks for itself. It does a fantastic job. And there is some Tams grant for it. For mulchers that is a mulcher major cyclone mulcher so we're going to have a look into that now for next year but top and job next part of this video after we've done our mulching is Berta our big sow well she's a guilt she hasn't had babies yet is in for farrowing so she's a bit muddy from where she was wallowing in in the where we have a wallow for the mountain the castle she's a little bit muddy from that but she's in now two days getting a bit agitated now so She's in here now for farrowing, so it'll be interested to see what she has because she's a very big belly. She's considerably large compared to Behy. So it's her turn to have a few piglets. But um, yeah, we keep an eye on her. And hopefully in the next couple of days, our pig herd will expand again. Also, to show you the other hooligans. Here's Behy's, Behy's babies. 
So we're down to eight, so we've sold three of them. So we have six boars and two gilts. And they're gas little whores, so they're, they've got so big. So we're about two months, I think, with these guys before we'll have the first of them ready to go. So yeah, the turnaround definitely does not be too long with them. But, ah, oh, they're lovely. They got very friendly too. So there, they got very friendly. Haven't ye? Haven't ye? Oh, me good piggies. Anyways, that's the pigs. Soon to be another couple. She has finally decided to farrow. So how many we at, Liv? Uh, six and a mummy. Six and a mummy. She's killed one. And she's killed one. So you have five live piglets. Yeah. A mummy. And one who's not going to make and it. And one who's not going to make it. She stood on him or... Yeah, she just, whatever way she caught him, she's just... She, she's damaged. Yeah. What Liv means by a mummy is a mummified one, so kind of one, a stillborn, you could say. I just, it's on the ground here beside me, and it is pretty rank looking. So, we'll just nice and gently go around to Livy. How is she as a mother so far? Too bad. Not too bad. She's fairly chilled. Yeah. That one's dead now, isn't it? No, it's still hanging on. Not gonna come to any good, unfortunately. No, I thought he was just stunned at first, but like, there's nothing obviously wrong with him. She must have just whatever she's done. She crushed him or something. Something internally. Yeah. Is. Poor pig. Unfortunately, that is how the pigs go. She's not finished, anyways, is she? No. No. Yeah, but it's just. Oh, here's another one. Do you do it? Or are you just? I don't know. He's alright. Mouse here. It's number seven. Let him find his own way. Just like that. <laughs> Make it look easy, doesn't she? Or piglets. So we'll see how we finish up in the morning when all is said and done because we have one dead there now, but you could easily have more by morning. Yeah. Well, no. That's the joys. Where there's livestock, there's dead stock. And it is morning. We're back into the shed. So she's had eight piglets, eight live piglets altogether, two girls and six boys. So I think Bruce is definitely a um, producing a lot of male airs. We just have to do some with the heat lamp just to get out a bit more over them. But um, yeah, she seems to be doing all right there. But anytime you go to get into the pen, she goes to get up, which is just not ideal. It'll take about a week before the piglets are kind of strong enough that there's less of a chance of her lying down on them. So that is where we're at and um, Betty was served on Monday so three months three weeks three days we'll be back in here far on the next pig so hopefully now these guys get on all right and she doesn't kill any more of them but like Everton the next week now is is the danger zone so it is as we leave her to it so we're now out here with the goats so here's Gertrude not right Gertrude and then we have Ginger Grace and Gwen who are standing back. They only really like to come over when they see the gear her because they know there's a bit of meal in it. But Liv's four goats are boar goats. Now them three there, Grace, Ginger and Gwen are pedigree boar goats. They're PBNR. Whereas Gertrude we think is crossed with something because she is ever so slightly different to these goats here. The biggest trouble we have with them is foot rot. Because we're on wettish kind of ground here they do kind of suffer quite a bit from it so you're the whole time trimming and battling with it Gross. wasn't too bad when you got them in the shed no. but it can be a bit of a, of a difficulty you'll see the way they're, they're hobbling away there so um, what we want to do now is we want to get them put on to Flockwatch on the Herdwatch app so Flockwatch is for your sheep but not alone can you put sheep on it there is an option to add unknown breeds, which we were told you can add your goats onto. We could even add our pigs onto if we wanted to. So Liv is going to fire it up, look, show you on the screen there. And then that way the goats are on it and it just makes recording them for our board B inspections that little bit easier. It is four goats, but it just everything, especially when we go to breed them um, in the next season, which is the autumn winter or is it winter time? It is winter. Yeah. They breed. We'll be able to keep a record of... They actually have boar goats. They actually have boar goats on it. They have all goats yeah. on it. So yeah, 
No, Hard Watch have have their goats on it now, so you can. So you just add them as breed. Add them as breed goat breed as a boar goat, and you're in business. So big thanks to Hard Watch for sponsoring today's video. Just want to get this done, just for keeping records. It's just Hard Watch makes keeping records so much easier. Whatever you have to do with livestock, yeah, it's it's very hard bet. Because when you come to your boar B inspection, you just print off your reports, and it's just a dream. You can ask me, mother. The last board B inspection went so smoothly, she was just well, well impressed that everything just couldn't get over just how smoothly everything went. But anyways, that's the goats on, on flock watch, so that makes life that little bit easier. And we're back out in the orchard. It's been two weeks since we caught, mulched it. And you can see what a job it has made of it. It has made a lovely job of it. We have a bit of work to do to clean up between the trees, a few trees to be staked. We tried going with the strimmer to strim in between, but the problem we had was the strimmer cord just kept breaking. Stuff is too too hard strimmed. But the job the mulcher done is savage. You can see, just coming back there now. Probably want to be done again, just to stop it from overgrowing again. But um, fantastic job, absolutely fantastic. The bees then as well down here at the bottom are humming away. The honey harvest this year is going to be very poor. Um, we still have two hives, but one hive was hanging in there just about, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't the strongest. And um, with the wet weather we've been having, they're just not getting out to get honey harvested. So it's going to be a poor honey harvest, pollen but harvest. pollen harvest, but what can we do? Pumpkins are in flower at the minute, so they'll be getting a nice feed out of there. Hopefully now for next year, we may have a major site going to do it again. That's what I, I'd be thinking now because it done such a great job like you, you've seen how it was like the, was the size of the trees We get between the trees trim now <coughs> Yeah, it'll be smashing but I think we're going to leave it at that for today's video So we've done everything we mulched We've seen Bertha having eight babies Still has eight babies She's flying away there now, her lost her We're just heading for out of the danger zone And we put the goats on flock watch So if you want to check out flock watch or hard watch link will be in the description down below you can check it out over there we're going to leave it at that big thanks to major for sending us down the cyclone fantastic bit of kit for just getting rid of dirt fantastic you'd have done that with any other kind of a topper you know you'd have left a row of stuff it's and you can gone. see that it's gone and what's there has come back like it's come back clean there's no old mat of dirt there a oh, great job anyways we're going to leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday Wednesday and Sunday. That is it from us. Good luck.